Let's welcome in Shane Wright, uh, the newest member of the uh, Windsor Spitfires, of course, top prospect with the Seattle Kraken and uh, most recently captain of the gold medal winning team. Uh, Shane, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, catch your breath yet? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Obviously, you've been... Uh... A little bit of whirlwind here. Been uh, you know a couple different teams and different places and all that, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, finally nice to settle down here. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. Uh, you know you're not going to play on another team, but between now and uh, the end of the season, that must that must feel good. Yeah, it definitely feels good. Uh, like I said, nice to you know, finally know where I'm playing here. Nice to uh, you know know what know what team I'm on and uh, you know living situation as well and all that. So uh, definitely a good feeling for sure. Why don't you tell us about the uh, the experience so far? I mean, you know, some uh, NHL time. You have a, a World Junior experience. Uh, you know, the first half of the season, maybe not exactly how you saw it going, but how how would you sum up the the learning experience that the start of the season till now has been for you? Yeah, I think I've definitely learned a lot. Obviously, uh, you know, just the chance of being in Seattle, being around those guys, um, and you know, having that NHL experience is um, you know really beneficial for me. Uh, and you know, definitely learn a lot from those guys, learn a lot from those games and uh you know the AHL as well, learn a lot there and then uh World Juniors as well. You know, took a lot from that experience. So um, you know, I've had the had you know, uh been fortunate enough to be around, you know, a lot of uh, really talented, really uh, you know, high end guys, high end players and uh definitely uh was able to learn a lot from all of them. As far as the biggest adjustment chain for you personally, uh, from junior to NHL, what out of the games that you did manage to get in, what was the most noticeable thing um, that you saw on the jump and, uh, what are the things that you're going to have to, uh, work on? Yeah, it's a really fast game. I think that's, uh, that was the biggest thing. You know, every, every player is, you know, uh, is the best, best league in the world, best players in the world. Uh, everyone's, uh, you know, the, the top notch, everyone's, um, you're such a smart player. Everyone's making the right decisions. You know, uh, every pass on the tape, you know, you're not really making, making mistakes. And, you know, the ones you do, the mistakes that you do make, you know, they're, they're going to cost you're going to, you know, maybe end up in the back of your net or end up in a scoring chance against. So, um, you know, you, you have to be perfect. You have to make sure you're, you're on your game at all times. And uh, it's definitely a bit of an adjustment for you, for sure. So what is the best case scenario uh, for how the rest of this season goes for you? Obviously, I can imagine what it is at the team level. For your own development, how would you like to see the rest of this season play out? Yeah, I think just, uh, you know, just play here and, and, and enjoy myself. You know, really, uh, uh, you know, take a lot from this experience and um, you know, try to, you know, produce offensively. I think that's uh, that's one of the biggest things, you know, I want to do when I'm here is, um, you know, uh, produce offensively. And um, that was something that, you know, Coach Coach Savard talked to me about already uh, in Windsor here is, um, you know, wants me to play, play offensive and, and, you know, play with the puck and create chances. And um, I think that's definitely something I want to uh, really uh, pick up here for sure. You know, it's funny. We just had the head coach of the Boston Bruins on Jim McCumber, and he spoke very highly of your uh, your your NHL team, Seattle, and just what is going on there. And while many of us, including me, I'll be the first one to admit, man, I just did not see Seattle challenging this year. But uh, obviously, from from the time that you spent with them, I, I don't think that you're probably as surprised as uh, the rest of us. No, I mean, I was uh, you know fortunate enough to be there for a couple months and. Uh, got to see what everyone was was like on a day to day basis, and um, it's uh, it's it's pretty professional there. You know, everyone's really dialed and everyone's really committed to um, you know the process of the team and to winning games. And um, you know, obviously, it's uh, it's paying off so far this year with with the level of play and um, you know the amount of games they've been able to win so far. And um, yeah, it was uh, it was nice nice and and uh, you know I was lucky enough to see all that uh, kind of unfold at the start of the year and really uh, you know learn a lot from all these guys uh, as well. From was there anyone in your time there that, uh, you know, kind of helped you or took you under your wing or uh, under their wing? Uh, anyone that you really got to know that uh, perhaps you didn't know about them? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say really any uh, any one guy in particular. I think just overall, uh, it's a really good group of guys. Obviously, uh, um, you know, got to know that some of the older guys like Eberle, uh, Alex Wenberg, uh, Justin Schultz, like all those guys who are, who are you know, older vet veteran players who, who've, you know, had a lot of success in the NHL and, um, you know, just kind of learned from, from their past experiences and, you know, learning from, from, uh, you know, what, what they've done their past, uh, you know, years in, in the league and in the NHL. And, um, I think anytime you can, you know, talk to guys like that, it's, uh, it's so valuable. You can learn a lot from them. And, uh, I definitely learned a lot from them for sure. One more for us. And, and we got to ask you because you had the, the, the best view, uh, playing with a guy like Connor Bedard and, uh, just how good is this guy going to be? Shane. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I have no idea how good he's going to be, but I know he's going to be pretty, uh, uh, a really, really good player. I think obviously everyone sees, you know, the talent and sees, you know, what he can do with the puck. And um, I think a lot of time goes unnoticed, you know, just how, uh, you know, committed, just how passionate he is to, to his own game and, and to getting better and always, you know, improving himself. I think that's something that, um, you know, I really noticed about him is, He's always, you know, expecting the best of himself. He always has, you know, high expectations on himself, and he always wants to uh, be the best version of himself that he can be. And um, I think the sky's the limit for him. And uh, I'm really excited to see where you know his career goes. Well, listen, we want to wish you the best of luck in Windsor, and uh, we can't wait to to see Connor and you start your uh, careers on a full time basis, and that'll come very, very soon. Thanks for doing this, Shane. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. 